I'm gonna tell you some Streamlabs OBS features that a lot of people don't even know exist, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick, welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, some of the things on this list you may know, a lot of the things in this list you probably won't know, but I wanted to bring them to your attention because some of these things are hidden deep in the software or they're things that I see people asking about all the time online and they're built into the software and nobody knows where to find them. So I'm gonna show you exactly where some of these things are. And make sure that you watch this whole video because there might be one feature that you know about and then the next feature might be something that you don't know about. So there's something in here for you. For the first two, we need to be on the computer. Let's go. Okay, so let's say that you spent a bunch of time getting your scenes together, right? You spent time making everything look as good as possible, just trying to make everything, you know, pop. You know, it's yours. It's your scene. Everything looks great. All your graphics are in there. Your video elements that you use and all that stuff are in there. And then your computer dies. What are you going to do, right? You completely freak out because, oh my gosh, I just lost all my graphics. I just lost all my settings that, I, that it took me, you know, weeks to set up to get everything working perfectly. Well, inside of Streamlabs, they actually have, and it's automatic, they have it to where they're gonna back up your media for you for free. And it doesn't matter how many gigabytes of video files and all that stuff you have, they're gonna back everything up for you for free on their servers. Check this out. So you can see down here in the bottom of the screen where I have all of my scenes and all that stuff set up, right? So what I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes here a little bit. I'm gonna show you, if I load this into my laptop, let me show you what happens. So as you can see, it's already imported all of these graphics. I do not have any of these graphics on this computer. It's just pulled them down from their cloud. So if I click on this ending scene, for example, like this right here, this is an AVI file. This is an actual video file that was pulled down from their server. So their media backups make this possible to where if you go to a conference, if you go to a friend's house, if you get another computer and you just wanna open up your Streamlabs on that new computer and just start streaming, you don't have to set everything up again. You don't have to export files files and then import files and transfer graphics or any of that, everything is taking care of you internally inside of Streamlabs. That's an awesome feature. Okay, so number two is Stinger Transitions. And what a Stinger Transition is, is normally if you just go to your scene and then you go to the next scene, you just get that hard cut, right? Or maybe a faded or something like that. But with the Stinger Transition, you can actually add a video file that's a graphic video file that will actually play as you make that transition. Let me show you. All you have to do is, I'm gonna go back to this scene right here, and then all you have to do is you go to Edit Scene Transitions here, and right now, the only thing that I have on this list is the global transition, which is just the cut, okay? So I'm gonna add a transition here and I'm gonna call it Nimmin Transition. And here where it says cut, instead of cut, I'm gonna go down to Stinger, okay? And then here I'm gonna go find my video file and I'm gonna keep all of these other things here the same. Now what I can do is I'm going to click on this as the default, right? Because I want this as the default. And then I'm just gonna hit done. And then now let's say that I want to go down to this split screen, okay? And I'm seeing this over here, it's my setup. And then over here, this is what the audience is seeing live, right? So then now when I hit transition to go to this new scene, what they're gonna get is they're gonna get something cool and interesting that matches my brand instead of just getting a basic cut, which is a pretty awesome feature and a lot of people are looking for this. Next on the list is a feature that's hidden inside of their mobile app. So a lot of people know that you can stream with the Streamlabs mobile app directly to YouTube or Twitch or wherever, but what they don't know is that you can set it up with the alert boxes and the live chat up on the screen and all of that, just like if it was on a desktop or a laptop computer. Personally, I think that's awesome because nobody else is giving you those options. The next feature that you may or may not know about is the merch feature. Basically what that is, is it allows you to sell merchandise regardless of your channel size, regardless of your view counts or any of that stuff. I made an entire video about it. I'll put it right up here at the top of the screen, but it's a way for you to make money with Streamlabs. So if you think these features are cool or you are not currently using Streamlabs OBS, like let's say that you're an OBS user and you haven't made that transition yet, I've got a link down in the description that'll send you directly over to the website where you can download Streamlabs OBS right now. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.